So I want to talk today about the Government of Canada's uh, Web Renewal Initiative. And this comes out of a collaborative project that I've been doing with uh, Amanda Walker, who's the Government Information Librarian here, although she's been seconded off to digital initiatives. Uh, and we're really looking, uh, trying to understand some of the changes about the way the federal government manages its own digital information on the internet. But to begin, I, I always go back to this great quote from an editorial uh, written in the Montreal Gazette, summer of 2005, uh, at the height of the Gomery Commission. And in it, uh, the author writes, information is the lifeblood of a democracy. Without adequate access to key information about government policies and programs, citizens and parliamentarians cannot make informed decisions, and incompetent or corrupt governance can be hidden under a cloak of secrecy. So with that quote as a background, um, in 2013, Tony Clement, who's the Treasury Board uh, President, rather quietly announced that the federal government would be uh, overhauling its federal websites. Uh, one aspect of this was they were going to shrink the number of domains. Uh, so currently there's about 1,500 government uh, domain names, ic.gc.ca, hc slash sc.gc.ca. The government's going to go from 1,500 to either six or one. They're not entirely clear. Uh, but part of this is a, a great reduction in the amount of, uh, of government information. The other piece of the, uh, the web renewal initiative has been uh, the Treasury uh, Board telling departments that they need to identify redundant, outdated, and trivial, uh, and the acronym for this is ROT, and that's the government's own acronym, rotten content, uh, and remove it as it, uh, as it shrinks down its internet presence. So what we've been doing uh, is kind of a mix of two approaches. Uh, on one hand, we've been using the Internet Archive and looking at crawls that have been done by the Internet Archive and also by academic libraries to try and assess uh, what, uh, what content is missing. Of course, you'd think with great digital tools this would be a fairly easy and straightforward approach, uh, but we've been beset by all kinds of problems. Some of the crawls just aren't complete uh, and more often than not, we're always finding that uh, content seems to be either moving links are rotting or content is drifting. And so despite all the great digital tools we have, it's been a very manual process. But we've made some in in interesting findings. You know, for example, in one month, uh, citizen Citizenship and Immigration deleted 60 uh, publications from their publication section of their website. But this turned out to be more or less germane housekeeping, old annual reports. Conversely, we found Industry Canada deleted a lot of program information about its last broadband uh, Canada program, including who was funded and in which community, how many households, and that all kind of disappeared as soon as it announced its next program with very little warning. The other background uh, or other tool we've used is, uh, is access to information requests. Uh, and these have shown that there really is no coherent plan for identifying rot. Different departments are using different metrics, and it's often an arbitrary number of website visits per month. And in fact, we've even found that in one department, uh, their goal is to get rid of 60% of the content they had on the web uh, as measured against the fall 2011 levels. So I think this has been a, a very interesting project. Uh, and just to go back to that quote uh, from the Montreal Gazette, some of you might recognize the name of the author. His name was Stephen Harper. <laughs> oh.